Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. And this week it is episode or update one thirty nine. I think we said if it is the yeah. All right. So it's probably gonna be a short podcast because we only have from what Wednesday to today or was it Tuesday when we podcast? What day was it? Monday, Tuesday. It was Middle late. Week. It was late. Maybe it was Monday. Because Tuesday I uploaded the Tuesday thing and the <laughs> and I accidentally uploaded instead of scheduling it for the next day for Wednesday I, I uploaded two on Tuesday. So and then Thursday and Friday we had technical difficulties. My phone is not being seen by the computer so and we've been out all morning working so we're eating ice cream. It's strawberry ripple. It's not homemade or anything. It's just ice cream. Alright. In the barn stalls. Two chicks came back. Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, the family set up with the flock. Yep. I yeah. guess a cat or a dog or something. They took five big ones and a rooster mm -hmm. that were already laying. And they took five medium ones. And then they take five little ones, right? Mm -hmm. The five little ones, something got them. Got three of them. So they brought the other two back and asked if we could keep them safe. And then we'll make a deal. They're going to buy them back from us again. If uh, we can get them a little bit bigger. So, right? Okay. And the Shetlands that went to a new home, how are they doing? They're doing good. You talk to them, right? Yep. Okay. All right. What else has been going on animal wise? Garrett's been getting his head stuck on the fence again by the cactus. Right? Yep. All right. And then one of the Shetlands broke her horn. And then. Broke her horn. Hmm. Yes. But that was the day that we podcast was. At, right after they did that. Everybody made it through Founder Watch. Thank goodness. Um, part of that is the fact that, or at least we think it's the fact that we don't have any stuff in our feed. Like any, what do you call it? Extra amenities to Add overload. Them. Additives, there you go. To overload their systems. So, all right, quit it. You must pay attention to this. You and I are just like, <laughs> sorry. It's melted. It's like 90 degrees outside. Outside, not in here. It's fine. Okay, so what else? Those, they made it through the Founder Watch. Um, how many snakes have we had? Because Wednesday, even after we podcast, there was another snake. And I think, did they hear about the one by the fence, the gate? No. Okay, so I had this visitor. That was Tuesday. Because um, I had this, these visitors here, and RJ went to take the truck around because he took Star to Kevin's, right? Yep. And what happened? You were there. You told me. I pull up. And I will look through my phone to see what time it is as I'm getting out of the truck because I got like three steps. So I pull my phone out, look at it. I don't even remember what time it was when I looked at it. He was supposed to be getting ready to go to work, taking yep. the horses with, and then I was going to meet him over there. We'll get to that, but anyway. Well, I'll look at my phone to what time it was. And as I go to put it back in my pocket, I feel my foot move. And I proceed to look down. And I am standing on a snake's head. <laughs> directly on his head. So I decided to go with the first thing that came to mind. I look Run out. like hell and it's green. <laughs> he calls on the phone. What do I do? What do I do? And that's all he said. Not, hi mom, how are you? I was like, I don't know. What's wrong? I look out and he's standing on the gate and part of the truck. He's got, he's up. Yeah, I was up in the air <laughs> looking down at the snake because I wanted to like see where it went. 
I didn't want to like go up in the truck or something, so I just like, <laughs> but I didn't want to be on the ground with it, so I just climbed up. And it's the one thing that makes you scream like a girl, ain't it, son? Yep. So there was that one, and then there was, we got the one in the onion bed, right? Mm-hmm. I, I told you it was there last time, but you didn't believe me. No, and they're all centered about around what? The garden. The chicken coop. Uh, the garden. RJ keeps blaming the garden, but it's not. Yes, it. The one by North Gate is closer to the garden than the chicken coop. The one in the garden, and there was just happened to coincidentally be one in the chicken coop. That's close to the garden. <laughs> no, it's not. It's closer to the... Closer to what? I was gonna say the garden. The arena. Way. His arena, that's what it is. We have talked to several people around and they said snakes are just really bad this year, so right? And you just don't like them, do you? Mm -mm. That's so. just not natural. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So Easter also passed away. We don't know why she was. She seemed healthy. I mean, but she was really old. So I, I don't know. I just don't know, do we? Hmm. Um. So what else? Star. Talk about Star. What happened on Tuesday? Uh, I took her over to Kevin. And then I came over with pizza after that. Yep. Um, and what did you and Kevin do? Well, I saddled Star, and she blew up and bucked all over the place. And we caught her, took her in a pen, and I got on her. Mm -hmm. And how'd that feel? Alright. She didn't buck with me on her. I think it was just the new place, new, what, I guess he, you know. He got his rodeo news and there's girls on the front. 19 year old boy's dream, isn't it? I'm not looking at that, I'm looking at, mm hmm. Yes, the flyer for rodeo, see? It's upside down. Mm hmm. Sure. Alright, come on. You're the one that told me to bring this upstairs. So you could show me what you got in the mail, not so you could. Oh, I wasn't supposed to read it? Because I got mail too, but, you know. Oh, I thought I was supposed to read it. Okay, so, what else is going on with the animals? Come on. Well, you see, they eat, they poop, they sleep. Same old, same old. Ice was still acting kind of stupid, right? Yep. Um, but Kevin gave you some homework to do with him. We took ice with us so that Kevin could see and he didn't act up not once. So, um, we gave him some homework to do with him to see if it helps and we'll see. Uh, then Easter, the two chicks came back. What else? Anything? We're still waiting on the part for the shear. Right? Yep. Farrier's getting ready to come, but it's not until what? Next week? Right. <coughs> Alright, is that it? What about Golden Boy? He found a new home. What about Golden Boy? <laughs> come on. <laughs> what about Golden Boy? <laughs> I can not have there over it. It was funny at first, now it's over. She hit me. She hit me. Okay, I took your book too, but suck it up and tell them what happened with Golden Boy. Now talk. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and he thinks he's funny. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, that was hilarious. Okay, Dallas, what happened with Golden Boy? We took him to one place to try, and that didn't go so good. No. So he came back, he worked on him, mm -hmm. uh, and pretty much he acted fine here. There wasn't really a whole lot to fix, was it? No. He just, down there at that other guy's house, 
which we know why, don't we now? Yeah. Because it was not meant to be. Um, because, what did we go and do yesterday? Come on. Took him to a guy's house, and he tried him. Now, was the guy really keen on talking to you at first? His father-in-law had to talk him into it, didn't he? Yeah, a little bit. And? So, we took him down there, and he tried him. Well, I got on him and went to run, first, run the three. I chased three on him. And I do say chase because I didn't catch. I yeah. missed three in a row. He's trying to show how good the horse is. He missed three kids in a row. So, what did I tell you? Mom told me to get off. I wasn't helping. So, that's what I did. I got off. Guy yeah, got on him. He got real good on him. Well, he did break away on he him. He break away a few on him. Then he took. He was kind of like eh. He was on the fence, but he didn't know. Because father-in-law just said, "We'll just tie some down and we'll see what you think." So he gets ready to tie some down, and when he roped his first one, he roped him, and then he fell went off. Went to get off. Went to get off, and the whole yard darted him. And I mean, this guy goes. He steps off, and he just whoop 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 whoop, and his father-in-law yells. Get up and go tie him. So he jumps up and he goes up and ties him. He's laughing when he comes back. He picks up his hat and dumps like half the arena out of the hat. And puts it back on his head and he starts dusting off. And he's and of course I'm the only female there and I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, oh yeah, I'm fine. And him and the father-in-law Kenny are laughing. So he got back on him. He run some after that he seemed to loosen up and he really run some on him and and he did yeah. some breakaway he did some tie down he just scored some on him he just rode him around um he just really liked him so um he is a friend of ours uh well kenny is the father-in-law is a friend of lee's family and um so they will see him at different rodeos so and they'll take really, really good care of them. So we're happy with that. Why is there a wireless mouse going on? Speech, 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 speech. All right, so anything else in the barn stalls? Come on, what? Oh, what are the ducks doing? What are the ducks doing? Hey, Kim. There, she's sitting on a nest of eggs. Yes. They tell me I can't have any ducks, but she's sitting on them. I'm hoping that they're fertile. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. Shut up. It's gotten to a point where I'm sneaking the other duck. Is Daisy is laying an egg and the other duck. So I sneak them and put them underneath her. RJ, what happened when you tried to sneak one under her? She hissed at me. <laughs> she did. Mom and Duck came after you, huh? And what else is the in the barrel? Oh, 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 tell them what's in the barrel. What's in the barrel? Nothing. She left. What is in the barrel, even if she left? I have a chick sitting on some eggs. I have a chick sitting on some eggs. Now, I'm super excited because this is a fancy. Um, this is my only Phoenix hen. And if she bred with my Phoenix males, we will have Phoenix chicks. And the Phoenix are... If you care about chickens at all, um, this little tidbit is for you. In the Oriental pictures, um, the Orientals believe, and I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese or whatever, they believe their ancestors um, are reincarnated, I guess, as chickens. And so they, the family prizes their chickens. And um, the big paintings that you see that a lot of people think so don't are China peacocks. Asterisk. Chicken nuggets. Um, the a lot of the pictures that people think are peacocks are actually phoenixes, and the the old phoenixes um, they've been bred, kind of messed with a little bit here in the United States, but their tails could get to be four and five feet long. They were put up on big pedestals, and they had their own little thing, and they were hand fed, and their tails would be flowing and come down, and those were believed to be the, the elders spirit or whatever reincarnated so I really like my phoenixes huh the first rescue I ever did was a phoenix wasn't it mm -hmm. 
a Phoenix chicken is my first recipe. So Felix is what I named him. Anyway, that's just so I'm super excited because um, I could have some real phoenixes in there. Um, that doesn't mean that she didn't breed with that black rooster, huh? Come on, we got we're only in the barn stalls. Come on. Um I can sleep in a barn stall. Right, anything else? Anything else going on? The only other silly thing that happened is the wind is picking up and my uh, we use a milk we use our shearing stand as a milk stand. And this morning when I went to milk, my milk was blowing out of the bucket. We're well, gonna have to move the milk stand. <laughs> because they give me almost a whole gallon and so the bucket gets way over like over half full and it's just blowing out. I thought, hmm, probably not a good thing. But anyway. Alright, anything else? Anything other animals that we have to talk about? Oh, yes, we do! What, what paperwork did I send off? What paperwork did I send off? Oh, I'm just patting the leg. What paperwork did I send off? Freak bio. Yes. The 30 day countdown is on. In 30 days or less, I should have my title to write and I will truly own him. Bureau of Land Management is done inspecting all the time. He's my baby. And I got six more months to go on Star, right? Mm -hmm. So, anything else in the barn stuff? I don't think so. I think that's it. Broken all over the thing. Okay. I think that's it for in the barn stalls. It's kind of calmed down around here in the barn stalls, um, with the exception of Easter passing, right? And ice being silly. All right, so what's next? What's next? Mending fences. What all have we worked on this week? Nothing. What about the garden gate we fixed? We fixed the gate. And you and I were doing so. Oh, we, we, we need something in the. In the garden, what do you do? I guess that's bed. in the field, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So, we've had little projects going on, just nothing huge, right? He's been reading this magazine thing again. All right, let's move on into the yarn farm. Um, now, are we doing anything in the yarn farm? No, because the shearing has stopped. Um, my herbal, did we decide what, where we're going to put my herb stuff? The medicine cabinet? Medicine box. What do we call it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up and add it into my little notes because it's not on here and I don't remember. So anyway, all right. In the field. First, we went to Walmart, right? And we got what? Well, no, because it started with the three hens. Wednesday, I went to the farmers market, and this lady had asked me if she could get three laying hens from me. She has two, and she wanted five. And nobody would sell her laying hens. And around here, people don't sell their laying hens. Um, they'd rather you have to buy the eggs from them and hatch them and, you know. And we've got so many birds. <laughs> so many. And so um, I told her, sure, I'll bring you three laying hens. And she, uh, it was kind of funny because when I took them to her, I'm not allowed to sell them at the farmer's market. So we went down to the city park. And we swapped there, and she paid me five dollars a bird. It was it's kind of the going rate around here. I didn't I didn't think about it. You know, some people say, oh, it's six or seven or eight, depending on the breed. It was just five. So she gave me fifteen dollars, and I drove it back up and went and did my farmers market stuff. Well, while I was there, uh, Connie from the nursery, she's another vendor, and she was over there, and she was putting out her flowers, and she took a thing out, and then she put them back in, and. RJ, I had picked him up a couple of strawberry plants because she was laughing about his goats. She felt bad for him, and so she picked him out two really good strawberry plants and sent them home with me, and I planted them, and they're doing really good. So, and he might actually get strawberries off them. So I was telling her that, oh, there's, there's like little berries. She goes, yeah, she goes, I got like 15 plants over there that uh, they're just people, it's too late for strawberries this time of year. Um, or they think it is. She says, if they get in the ground, they'll be fine. You'll get a little bit off of them, but not a whole lot like people want. And she said, it's kind of, you know, done. They're late. 
And she says, but their next year, she says, if I can get them planted someplace, next year they'll produce good. And I said, well, why don't you plant them? She goes, I don't do strawberries. She goes, I just don't. And uh, I said, so you don't have a bed or anything? She goes, I have one small one for the grandkids, and that's it. I don't need any more. And I said, okay. She goes, they just have enough that they go out and pick them up. And I said, well, what are you going to do with them? She goes, well, I don't know. Cause she says, I didn't put them out because they look horrible. And she says they're they're actually starting to wither. You know, they need to get in the ground this week or they're going to die. But there's my name. Uh-oh, he found something. It's my name. What does it say? It's my name. I, I know it says your name. What does it, why is it in it? Uh, number 10. Your 10th in what? The standings. In the standings for ACRA or? Yeah. He is 10th in the cap roofing in ACRA. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So. Anyway, so I told her, I said, well, I could probably make a strawberry bed. I said, what do you want for them? She looked at me and she goes, for you, give me a buck a plant. And so I had that $15 in my wallet. The, the farmer's market hadn't even opened. I had that $15 that that lady had given me for the three hens. So I handed it to her. She goes, you just happen to have 15 I said, long story. And so... The way we're taking it is I traded three hens for 15 strawberry plants. And we went and made a little bed and yeah, we put, and it didn't cost us anything other than one bag of dirt and a bag of sand, correct? Yep. Which the bag of sand was $4 and the dirt was eight. So we took the hay from the barn that got on the ground that has the wool trimmings and some tag in it. It's got more wool than it does hay. And we put it down. Uh, we made a 2x4 frame out, out of some junk wood at, in the barn. Yes, it'd be better if it was a 2x6, whatever. But this just gives them enough raised up and enough that we can put a, a cap over to the rabbits go to get in it. Anyway, we put that and then we mixed the dirt and the sand, put it in there and planted them. And I've been watering them in last two nights, son. Yep. And they are just, they, they were like... Mm -hmm. And now they're whoo, all perked up, aren't they, son? They look good. So we're hoping to have a whole thing of them, right? Can you look up here and put your neck? It's kind of weird talking to you, maybe. All right, what else happened in the field? What else? What did we do last night? What did we do last night? What, <laughs> what did we do last night? We we burn something. Yeah, that's what we did. We burn something. What did we burn? The brush pile. The brush pile. Reclaimed the corner of the garden. Now, why did we do that? Because mommy wanted to, and I like light matches. Why am I reclaiming that corner? What's going to go there? A pile of sticks. You're a brat. Okay, so we'll get to that here in a minute because he's not going to talk about it. So, I don't remember where we're going to put um, the stuff. Oh, there's a you get it. Well, I was at the farmer's market. Um, these people showed up and yeah, I found that on the walk to the pond. Anyway, and they had some books and they're not supposed to sell them at the farmer's market, but they were a new vendor, didn't know, blah, blah, blah. They had this one, and I picked this up two weeks ago, I think, and I forgot to tell you all about it, but it's called New Ch Choices in Natural Healings. Now, it's not really new choices, it's just different choices, so, you know, I'll take it. Oh, and apparently there is a baby picture of someone in the book. <laughs> wow. Can I see a picture and see who it is? I don't know who it is. It was just in the book when I went to flip them through. You can tell I haven't even read it yet. But anyway, um, it's in the book. But I got this one at the farmer's market for a buck. So I was happy with that. Um, then I actually ordered, and this lady is um, pretty prominent in the herb world. And it's Rosemary Glad Stars Herbal Recipes for Vibrant Health. And I've been reading in here and doing, you know, I've been doing good. Just reading, studying. All right. Um, 
Let's see. What else? Where are we at? In the fields? We'll just move on to in the farmhouse, right? Voila, we are in the farmhouse. Yes. Um, at the farmer's market, I did awesome. What happened at the farmer's market? What did I almost sell out of? That's free. Um, yeah, I made big lotion bars um, after I saw which ones sold. And then I made, I had a, a batch, I guess, of, I only make like six or seven bars of goat's milk soap at a time because I don't normally sell that many. Well, as it turns out, there's a mechanic in town that's been telling everybody that he swears by my soap. So I had a new ba batch and I'd actually made a double batch. So I had like 14 bars and I had $3 for a single or two, uh, $5 for a double. I'm about out of goat's milk soap because about at one point, Crystal, the market manager, was laughing because my thing is a little, I'm considered the weird one. All right, so like there's a nursery, there's a cheese, uh, a dairy, and she gives free samples. And then um, the rest of them have farm fresh eggs and, and actual produce. And I don't have a whole lot of produce because you know my gardening, but I have my wool there. Um, last week I took daylilies for the kids to try. Well, an adult. Um, we talk a lot about herbs, um, the peppermint and the mint, um, the spearmint, the lemon balm. And so I talk a lot about them and I have some people that will ask me for clippings and I'll take them. And a lot of this stuff I just give away. I'm um, not the wool. Um, it's too expensive to do that with. But um, they'll buy a bunch of tea and I'll give them a start because they really want to start their garden. Or, you know, the, the day lilies. I had those sit out just in, in a basket. And here you want to try one and taught the kids how to eat them and told them they taste like lettuce and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, and then I have my lotions and potions and concoctions, as they say. And... Crystal said she looked over and she says, your tent, everybody was under your tent. And all the old men were trying to get their hands on your soap. And she goes, there's three old men and two ladies. And I said, yeah. And the ladies have really bad psoriasis. So they swear by my soaps. And uh, one guy looked at me and he took two, my last two bars of summer squash. So, and two goat's milk soap. Because he says, well, if the goat's milk soap is this good, he goes, what's summer squash like? And I looked at him and I said, Perfection. <laughs> he goes, give them to me, I'll try it. Do you fart? Awesome. We ate fried food last night. Uh-huh. Holy it cow. It does this to me. It does. Sorry, <laughs> oh. I am on. so glad this is not television. Randy James. Oh my lord. Sorry. He's as bad as the dog. The fan's gonna blow it I know, it's blowing right my way. Anyway, oh my goodness. I can't smell it anymore. Beano, dude, Beano. Um, Nap time. Anyway, so the farmer's market is going really good. What about Jack? Nap time. You got some mail. Are you gonna tell what you got? Yeah, I already saw the mail. He did, he got his radio news. Mm -hmm. Um, they've seen this much of it for like a while now. They know what this part looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's going on with Dad? We he's, don't know. He says he's going to go to the doctor, but we'll see. What did he do? What did he say inappropriately today? <laughs> you can tell him because I can't keep a straight face. He smarted off something, and I said something about so what. You got a girlfriend, you know, and he looks right at me and he says, no, I can't keep you satisfied. Why would I have a girlfriend? No, I can't keep you happy. Yeah. And I just went, what? And I said, so I'm hard to keep happy? He, I said, I'm needy, you know, and I said, you, I'm needy and hard to keep happy. And he goes, well, no, but... I can't keep you happy. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he's been kind of on the war path. That was funny though. It, it was funny. You know, if he was a sarcastic person, 
that was a really sarcastic, you know, but that's not his personality. And he meant every word of it. And he meant it me. So, just not a good thing, is it, son? Yeah. If he just said it out of his mouth, expect it. My husband, no, he just, he meant it. So, he just, I don't know. We're hoping he gets better today. He was mad. Now, we have decided wow. one thing. Hey, we have decided. for your horse's feet. Look at these folks. Hoofies. <laughs> like tattoos, huh? They're decals for your horse's feet. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I have decided one thing. And we were out working in the garden to reclaim the brush pile and get that gone. Um, so that I can have a what? Uh, what would you call that? Some kind of hut. No, she shack. She shack. The she shack, as in my shack. So, um, I have plans to put a small greenhouse on it, just a four by eight, a small um, awning where I can milk and uh, store firewood, and then it's going to be 10 by 16, it's just going to be a 10 by 16 earthen floored pole barn structure. And um, I'll have my spinning wheels down there, and it'll be kind of. I've already figured out how to do a gravity fed garden hose and a little sink in the thing so I can wash in veggies or whatever, and have a little table and chair in there, and then pretty much my spinning wheel and a hideaway bed. We can do say it's just going to be like a single twin, you know, little hideout, and then I'm going to have an old fashioned. Um, stove in the corner so for heat and then when I get the shack done and, and the greenhouse done and that I'm gonna do an outdoor kitchen down there I think it'd be an amazing spot to have I already have a swing to go in there correct and so I'm thinking I'm just gonna make the garden my little oasis um, and I can't remember who said it oh no I'm supposed to give credit where credit is due. And one of the viewers, last episode, who was that, son? I don't know. Oh, no. You guys, I feel really unprepared right now. I'm going to look and see if I can figure it out real quick. Um, anyway, the garden has been named. And I think it is the perfect name. So I'm going to have my she shack in the potluck garden. And she is absolutely correct. I say she. I can't remember who it is, so it might not be a she, honestly. I don't know. Let's see here. Um, I was looking to see. Uh, and you know, nothing will ever come up fast enough when you're looking. How come I can't find it? <laughs> that is fun. Okay, hang on. Let go of my arm so I can do this. There it is. Okay. Faith abounds. <laughs> Faith abounds at Melody A. Train. Okay, go get the other one. Oh, he's done. Okay, he's done. Open it back up. It is Faith Abounds at Melody um, Acres. And she said, or he said, they said, I don't know. It says, um, you need a pretty sign or bench that says Potluck Garden. And uh, she agreed I needed a woman cave. And she said to go for it. So, um, we are, I have a bench and I have my swing. And both will end up down there, and that is going to be my she shack, or she cave, or whatever, you know. Um, I, I really like to call it my she shack. So, And I told Lee what I was going to do, and I said, the garden is now my domain. It is my leave-me-alone space. So far, how many days have you stayed out of the garden? If I'm down there, here it comes. 
and I'm like, dude, what did I tell you? Well, I need to talk to you. Okay, we have cell phones. He could have called me. But he walks all the way from the house all the way out to the garden. Just to be in the garden because I said, you know, I want that to be my space. And I've talked to him and said, look, you have your space. RJ, what is your space? My room. That's right. We redone RJ's room to become RJ's place. And um, where else do you go if you want time alone? Rope. The arena. So, and we're going to do a challenge. We're going to put out a, vi a little video challenge to other um, YouTubers. So watch for that. It'll be, it's cute. It's kind of along those lines. But anyway, um, yeah, he hasn't left me alone at all. Even though I said leave me alone while I'm in the garden. And every mother knows you never get, you never even get left alone in the bathroom. So you know that's not, you know, I have no place. None. No, I'm going to make it mine, and I'm going to make him honor it, but it's going to have an outdoor, I'm going to do a fire pit, a outdoor kitchen, have just a little sink in there where I can wash any vegetables or whatever. Uh, my spinning wheels are going to be down there because I like to spin, and I think that is going to be a beautiful spot to do. I can move them in and out. Um, I'm just going to do a linseed sealed um, earthen floor. I, I love the thought of just having the dirt under my feet regardless. Um... So it's not going to be fancy, fancy. It's going to be built like a pole barn. Um, but it'll be great. I'm going to love it. So anyway, that's what we've been working on. I haven't gotten any more spinning done. Um, everything that I have had that I have thought about getting put up from the milk soap, the goat's milk soap, tomato soap. I sold $50 worth of soaps and lotion bars. When I go to the mm -hmm. farmer's market, how much do I normally make? 10 bucks, 10, 15. 15. I'm there for the community and they come by and ask questions and, and you know, we give out those little cards to the kids and just, they like to see me spin. You know, it's more of a community thing. Just going to support, because it's run by the um, Community Action Network. And I'm just there to support. I help the manager set up her tent and stuff. You know, it's just my day off and nothing else to do, right? Yes, there's tons of other stuff to do, but I take that as my time and go do it. Um, we donated some chickens to the community garden, that kind of stuff. So it's just about community, and this week they hit me hard, and I've had to make a batch of soap every morning. As When we get done with this and he quits that, I'm going to go and pop out the other soaps and do another batch. I'm going to bite it. I'll buy it. And then, oh, did you do that? What is the matter with you? Huh. Now I gotta go back and get it all back up in there. You good? Look at him. He thinks he's something, don't he? Um. All right. This is what the bride of Frankenstein do, looks like. <laughs> you're going to have to do off the market because now I'm too busy taking care of my aunt. Well, mom went off the market. She sold all the soap. So, <laughs> so there is nothing in off the market, is there? Nope. Okay. All right. But anyway, I thought because I made a double batch of goat's milk soap, I was going to have some stomach to sell. Now it's all crooked. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You know how to fix that, don't you? Yes, I do. I couldn't get it okay. I, I think I'm going to have to ground him, put him in his room. I don't know. What about your books? So you never even told in the farmhouse about the book you wanted and you're supposed to. Well, you haven't got it yet. Okay, but I'm going to order it. And I'm ordering it today, right? And what's it called? The Inner Game of Tennis. And why do you want this book? Because supposedly it's supposed to help me rope better. Talks about roping. No, it's supposed to help you in your mental. It's a mental game thing. Yep. Huh? So, all right, we're gonna get off here. This is getting silly, and RJ just—he's tired and he's messing with me, and I'm gonna have to resort to bodily harm here in a minute. So, how that actually hurt? Oh, I have a bruise. Ooh, I think I hit something there. Right there. 
Stop it. I have a habit of like running into something and forgetting and then I'll have a bruise. <laughs> Stop it. I'm going to beat him. Goodbye, you guys. We will see you in the next video. Nope, she's going to kill me now. <laughs>